So then let's move on. Let's see if I can copy the circuit. Yeah, awesome. So we have been looking at uh, this fellow here. So we have spent some time on this. So today I'll just uh, do a couple of more things to understand this in more detail, and then we'll wrap up. Oops. I'll assume that I have an ideal current source for simplicity. And let's say I have V1, V2. Okay. Good. So here, let's try to understand uh, what is the equivalent resistance looking into different nodes in the circuit, right? So I'll directly draw the uh, small signal equivalent here, or I'll basically remove the DC biasing. So uh, the current source is open. The voltage source is short, right? And how many nodes are there in the circuit? And count from one to three. How many are there? How many nodes are there in the circuit? Huh? One, five, hundred. Is it complicated? The question clear? I just ask you to find what, what are the total number of nodes in the circuit. Let's assume that the inputs are not there, right? So how many nodes are there in the circuit? Okay, why 4? I have, let us say, I call this as node 1. Let's say it's node A. This is node B. Node C. What is the fourth one? Huh? After 2, it is 3, not 4, right? Is this clear? How many nodes are there? Okay, how many nodes are there now? I have written, right? How many are there? I mean, I want negative feedback system or some feedback. I just don't want to, you know, blast in open loop, okay? How many are there? Three, fine. Let's try to find the resistance looking into all three nodes so that we get a hang of the circuit. Okay. Let me copy this. Let's start with uh, the node C. And that is the output node which we had already calculated. Let's just, you know, like uh, do it for the sake of it. And I will try to calculate it as up and down resistance the way I had defined it in the beginning of the class. So what I will do is this. Just like I had mentioned, I will assume that I am exciting with two voltage sources now. V test here and another V test here. Okay. And this current, this I, I up and this current is I down. Right. Again, as I mentioned, this current can have contributions from both this yellow and blue voltage sources. Okay, color is rendered properly. Similarly, uh, this down current will also be have contributions from both. Let's find it. So let's start with the uh, down current. So first of all, tell me, uh, do you think this voltage source will have any impact on the down current? I apply a voltage source here. This is connected to the drain of the transistor. This will just result in a drain current in the transistor. Do you think this current will impact the current here? Yes or no? Yes, why? Why current mirror? Okay, that is okay. That brings me to another thing. I mean, so you are saying that if I you are saying that if I push in a current here, that will get copied here. Is that true? No. Is it, is it clear? Understand the cause and effect, right? Here, I mean, a current mirror, the cause is the voltage getting generated in response to the current that is flowing here. So only if I push in a current in this branch, that generates an appropriate voltage and that gets copied here, right? If I push a current here, it doesn't mean that it gets copied there. So please understand the cause and effect here, right? So, uh, so now tell me if this current will have impact on this. No? So I'll just find the uh, down current only due to this voltage. Is that clear? And if I draw the equivalent circuit here, so I'll have M2 and I have something connected at the source. What is the impedance looking here? 1 by GM1. This will be 1 by GM1 if the drain resistance is smaller. What is the drain resistance here? 1 by GM3. And 1 by GM3 will be smaller than the R0 of this transistor typically, so this is fine. 
so I can basically replace it like this 1 by gm1 so now what is the looking resistance here how will you find it it is the CAS code so yeah it is let me write it fully gm1 by gm2 sorry 1 by gm1 plus r02 plus GM2 R02. again gm1 and gm2 are equal these two are identical transistors their properties are equal so what is this approximately 2 times or not so this we can straight away write it so the down current due to the yellow voltage source is v test by 2 or not fine and as we know there will be no contribution due to the other voltage source so i down is complete so let us uh, do the up current now or I will write it separately the uh, down resistance is 2 or not 2. So let us try to find the up current. So I apply a test voltage here. So what will be the uh, response due to this voltage? I apply a voltage at the drain. What will be the response uh, due to this voltage? What will be the current in response to this drain voltage? Vt by I am just connecting to the drain. So only the drain voltage will cause a current. This is Vt by R04. Is that clear? There will be no GM component, right? Because it is connected to the drain. If I change the drain voltage, Vt by whatever R04 goes. So that is contribution due to the blue voltage source. Now tell me if you will have contribution due to the yellow voltage source. Yeah, because now I so I know that I have a down current flowing here. Where will the current flow? It has to flow here. And now you see uh, this is a current here. So this current will get copied. So this current will be fine. So what is the up resistance now? What is the up resistance? R not four parallel. So what is the equivalent resistance? That is the total resistance looking into this node C. R0, R04 parallel with, okay. Again, this we had done it earlier. I am just, you know, explicitly finding the down and up resistance in a more formal way, that is it. Okay. So we'll move on. So now let's uh, look at let us say the node B. So again, to find the equivalent resistance, uh, the same thing I have to do. Maybe push it here. I'll apply a test voltage and find the test current. So here I'll try to find the resistance directly, not individually as up and down. Okay. So, okay, now tell me what do you think the resistance looking into this node might be? 1 by GM3. Yeah, it is very tempting to say 1 by GM3. And why do you say it is 1 by GM3? Okay, I apply a test voltage V test here. So, the gate voltage is also V test. So, what will be the current in response to this voltage? I have a V test applied to the gate. So, what will be the current? GM3 times V test. Now, of course, it is also connected to the drain. You will also have a current, which is what? V test by R0 3. But of course, this current will be, you know, like much smaller in comparison to the GM current. So, we typically ignore it. But is there something else that can happen? Hmm? Sorry? Now, remember, this test voltage V test is also applied to this fellow, right? And this again will respond by pushing in a current. And what will be the current here? If this gate voltage is V test, what will be the current in response to that? GM4 V test. I will write as GM3 V test. Okay, I mean 3 and 4 are identical. And this is let us say R04. Now remember that this current now has two paths to flow. It can either flow here 
or it can flow down so what i'm saying is some portion of this current will obviously flow down and that current will essentially act is that clear so uh, how will you find what portion of the current flows down current division uh, division between what and what one resistance is r not 4 and what is the resistance looking down we just found it before 2 times r not 2 okay so this is 2 times r not 2 so what is the total current now can you write can you tell me i mean i am trying to find what is the portion of current that is flowing here what will that be okay first the current what is the current value gm3 vt that is the actual current the portion of it flows down how much is that portion by r not 4 plus okay. so if i were to write it it is gm3 into 1 plus r not 4 by r not 4 plus 2 r not 2 times v test so what is the effective again this is approximately because i have ignored uh the r not 3 current which is fine so what is the equivalent resistance looking into the node b what is the resistance i mean from this what is the equivalent resistance 1 by gm 3 into this fraction okay again so here we can uh, look at the expression uh, and see if i make r not 4 to infinity right that is let us say i have a degenerate case where the pmos transistors have infinitely large r not if r not 4 tends to infinity what will this tend to 1 by 1 by 2 gm3 right so the resistance is not just 1 by gm3 it is very tempting to say but here you also have a down portion of the current so that makes this so here you can take as an exercise and uh, separately find out what will be the up and down resistance this is for your own practice and exercise and you should find probably that this should be the up current and this should be the down current ah huh. in find the up and down resistance of the node then the equivalent resistance will be up parallel down or up oh are you tell me up parallel down or up plus down i mean i have something like this this is also ground this is also ground what is the resistance looking here parallel down okay so now it is clear that the impedance looking here is 1 by gm3 into some factor so at this point something should have struck you uh, since i think it has not struck you i will uh, make it strike and ask it so in this exercise uh, we kind of made an assumption that this resistance is 1 by gm provided this resistance is small so now you see this is not exactly 1 by gm3 okay this is 1 by gm3 into some factor but still this is smaller than r not of the transistor hmm? great so okay so yeah so uh, uh, what is the other node pending now huh Yeah, a no points for guessing that. Maybe if it was in Harry Potter universe, I could have told ten points for Gryffindor, but yeah. Okay, this is no day. So how will I find the resistance now? What will you do to find the resistance? Huh? Test? Yeah, same thing. I mean, no, it's not a trick question. Apply a test voltage. Find the test current. okay uh, this is ra okay so now this test current has two parts to flow so uh, do you think the left side current will be greater or the right side current will be greater why why not left side Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay anyone for left side 
left is left out anyone wants to improve okay i mean let me maybe argue this way so please recollect uh, when i when we are looking at the dc operating point for this right let me draw the dc picture this is vb uh, current flow sin not here what did we argue for the two currents they were equal and why were they two equal how did we conclude that they should be equal by contradiction again the idea was the current also depends on the drain voltages we saw if i assumed let us say one drain voltage was greater than the other we ended up with a contradiction that the pmos current was not equal to the nmos current so that made us make a conclusion that although this is asymmetric as long as i provide symmetric excitation or common mode excitation that is if i ensure the vgs for the two transistors to be same then the currents in the branches will be equal so will be the two drain voltages so now let's extend the same argument so here what can you say about the vgs of the two transistors they same or not same so then what can you say about the two currents they have to be same again the same way we argued here you can argue by contradiction and prove that the only logical solution is to have uh, these two currents to be equal which means what can you say about these two nodes they should be same so both are same i can go and connect them nothing is going to happen okay maybe i'll remove this now or maybe i'll copy paste it oh shit yeah so now you see that uh, these two transistors are in parallel so i can simplify this i have uh, m4 i have two times of the transistors put in parallel correct similarly if i look at the nmos transistor i have two x of m2 put in parallel and then i have my test voltage and we are interested to find the equivalent resistance here so now tell me what might be the equivalent resistance here hmm 1 by yeah why 2 gm yeah okay i gent let's argue let we know that resistance looking into the source is 1 by gm provided under what condition the drain resistance is smaller than the r not of the transistor what is the drain resistance here but is it 1 by gm4 or can you be careful i mean if i had one transistor m4 i have 1 by gm4 but how many of them are put in parallel two so what is the resistance if two of them are in parallel so this is smaller than <coughs> the r not of the transistor <coughs> sorry so then what is the resistance here so i call this node a what is the equivalent resistance at this node 1 by 2 this clear again this is the beauty of the circuit right although this is kind of uh, actually asymmetrical the moment i have common mode excitations like this this nicely becomes symmetric so only for common mode excitations you can bring out the symmetry in this circuit 